got a friend up in uh, Missoula, Montana, and uh, he sent me a book uh, written by James P. Owens, uh, Cowboy Ethics, What Wall Street Can Learn About the Code of the West, and uh, was rather intrigued with it. Uh, and then I uh, found out that Malcolm Baldridge uh, was from Nebraska. He was a cowboy. And putting those things together um, uh, and looking at the uh, ten principles of, of cowboy ethics, I thought, you know, this is really something we ought to uh, implement in our program as well. The center did just that. Of the ten principles, four became particularly important. Live each day with courage. Take pride in your work. Be tough but fair and ride for the brand. And cowboy ethics, the code of the West, took on special meaning. It resonated with employees and became how the center saw itself, how it defined itself. But it came to mean even more than that. Cowboy ethics to us is just a, is just a way of life within the center. It's doing the right thing. It's a way of us to define the things that mean the most to us, taking pride in what we do, having courage each day to stand up for what's right, to stand up for the veteran. Taken together, the purpose of those jobs and of the center itself is to improve the health of veterans and humankind. That is done through creative and innovative pharmaceutical, scientific, technical, operational, and educational support for clinical trials that target current veterans' health issues. Cowboy ethics are central to what the center provides, the services it renders. A guide and a beacon for employees, they are words that inspire them to perform with excellence. Live each day with courage. We encourage uh, all of our employees uh, to debate the issues if they feel very strongly about something. Uh, we might be doing it one way, they think we should be doing it another way, and they have to have the courage to speak up. Taking pride in their work is a cowboy ethics principle that pervades the center. Every staffer is informed by it, takes pride not just in benefiting veterans, but in benefiting them as consistently, as strongly, and as well as possible. This is personal for many. A wall in the center is graced by pictures of family members of employees who are veterans. The wall is a tribute to those family members, and by extension, to all veterans. But whether an employee has a relative who is a veteran or not, pride in the center's work is never an issue. Be tough but fair. We have discipline principles in the Baldrige program uh, that you manage by, and you have to be tough about those. You have to make sure that your organization follows those principles. And, uh, but at the, sa at the same time, you have to be fair about it. Uh, you have to be fair to the employees and, and make sure they understand uh, when they come to work for you uh, what you're all about. My favorite among the cowboy principles is um, uh, ride for the brand. And what that really means is, is that when you hire on uh, with an outfit, you have a loyalty to that outfit. And looking at that principle and what we have today, when you go to work for an organization, you have an obligation to be loyal and dedicated to that organization. And if you are loyal and dedicated to the organization, you're going to be successful. In a sense, cowboy ethics are all about loyalty, dedication, and integrity. Those qualities start at the top, which explains why in a 2009 employee survey of ethical behavior, the center's leadership received a rating of virtually five out of five. That is the bedrock upon which success is built. In this case, success means improving the health and care of America's veterans and improving the health and care of the nation as well. The reason we exist is because of the veterans. 